it creates really interesting conversations when you meet up with LSHDM people mm. because you'll be like, oh, I have this bite. And they're like, oh, where'd you get it? Let me think. Like, and they try to come <laughs> up with like, like a shame. And you're like, okay, <laughs> like, let's talk about it. <laughs> Favorite infectious disease? Oh, <laughs> they're all bad. But yeah. like, if I had to choose something I was most interested in, TV. For me, it's also my favorite. <laughs> if you have no knowledge of this building or any other kind of um, health-related field, people always find it weird when you say, "Yeah, my favorite disease is." Team an African trip, Panasonic. Oh, so. I, yeah, I do like yeah Panasonic. Yeah, they are very cool. Yeah. So we just go around kind of trying to defend our own disease for some reason mm -hmm. at lunch. <laughs> so, yeah. My background is in medicine. My first research job was clinical trial coordinator of a tuberculosis trial. But the research bug bit me. And since then, it, I mean, I'm not cured from it. For infectious disease was something very monotonous for me before coming to this master's. But now I can say I feel like a James Bond. It's good to be critical and actually you're encouraged to criticize the people that are teaching yeah. you, which is really nice and removes some of that barrier of it feeling as though there's this separation between like teacher and mm -hmm. student, like mm -hmm. you're saying. Especially because these people, they're not just our professors, they're people that are actually working in the field. And sometimes I will go to a lecture and then that evening I'll see them on BBC News talking mm -hmm. about monkeypox or something like that. Mm -hmm. So having yeah. those professors with those experiences, they're really able to give some additional information that you might not see in a textbook, right? <laughs> Somehow LSH team attracts very warm people, I think. Yeah. Because within my program, everyone's mm. very like nice and warm mm. and willing to like help you out for mm. really no reason. They don't have to. It was uh, an international cohort. Uh, I have a very good friend from uh, Latin America, Ecuador, and uh, some were from Iraq, some were from South Korea and Nigeria. I don't know <laughs> how they can tell, but like they really attract good people. As I was looking at the career paths of some people that I really admired, people that are at the top of the top when it comes to public health, like they were managing the COVID pandemic or other positions of health leadership, I noticed they all had one thing in common. They all had a degree from the school. And then once Dr. Tedros became the new head of the WHO, I was like, okay, this really is an important school to know about. All of you can see in a way the future that sounds so vague, <laughs> but you can look around at the people that are lecturing you or just doing things that you want to do. You can see like the next thing. Yeah. And that to me is so, has made us all feel so much more motivated. Mm. They also connect you without you even asking sometimes. They're like, mm. oh, you have an interest in TV and I don't know, some random place. And they're like, I actually know someone there. And you're yeah. like, oh, perfect. Like, let me grab a coffee. So they mm. like, it's yeah. not you always having to reach out. They reach out all the time too, mm. which is really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah and advice for future students, what would you say? Um, I would say, come here. <laughs> <laughs> say yes to going to see the Jara Bowls and the Museum of Zoology and like, I don't know, just random things like say yes to go camping and things mm. like that. So if you want uh, support, not just academically, but personally, say, so go for this public health for development and due to small cohort, you can make easily so many friends. Take modules that you might not be the best at, but you might have some interest in or would like to learn. Um, because even if you don't get the best mark, you'll end up realizing that you learn so much more. And even though people may laugh at parties and say, what are you studying COVID when you say what you study, but you know, you're doing something that, that feels important and hopefully yeah. is important. Yeah. Make sure you're passionate about it. I think it just makes a big difference. Don't focus on all these people that 
were doctors for 30, 40 years, or these people that were already doing internships at the WHO, because at the end of the day, it's your journey. And if the school saw worth in you for you coming here and you had a passion to come here, then you're exactly where you are meant to be.